hello friends welcome back so in the last video we talked about uh, uh, we have seen like how to handle double click and right click using selenium web driver so today i'll show you how to handle drag and drop using uh, selenium okay so already we have seen keyboard operations and uh, how to perform double click and right click now today we'll look into how to handle drag and drop using different methods so as we have discussed different methods uh, like drag and drop so we'll use this method and there is another method drag and drop by source and uh, uh, this is the pixel location okay of the target target web element okay so we'll use these two methods and we have some different methods as well like move to element release and uh, yeah uh, click and hold so we'll use the these methods as well okay so let me just start so eclipse is already open uh, here i'll create another class drag and drop demo I'll copy uh, a few lines of code to launch the browser. And this time I'll take uh, this demo queue.com. So let me just show you from tools queue. So I have this site. So this is a uh, this is where uh, we have to drag uh, from here we have to drag like this so here we should get the message dropped okay from here I have dragged let me just show you again so we have two web elements drag me to my target and uh, we have to drop here okay we'll drop like this and we'll get the message drop so we'll automate this scenario So simply I'll copy this URL I'll, I'll put it over here and let's inspect those two elements okay drag me to my target so let me just inspect it so here we have ID draggable we can take this okay so driver dot find element by dot uh, id and give draggable let's store this in web element uh, i would say from you can give variable name from and what is the next one drop here so let me just inspect this as well this is droppable right id is droppable one is draggable and another one is droppable so simply we'll copy paste and we can use this droppable here and i'll give this as uh, two so we have uh, we have inspected two elements from and to now let me just create the object of action actions class okay act new actions and we have to pass the driver and here we have to import uh, import actions from org.openq.selenium interactions okay now simply we can use this object and uh, we can call different methods okay so let's use the first method drag and drop the first one this one uh, drag and drop uh, where we have to give source and target so simply we'll give from and to and here we have to uh, give perform at last 
okay and simply close the browser at the end let's wait one second before closing the browser okay so here we can give perform method no need to give build because this is only one action so perform should uh, done the task okay so let's run this program and we'll see whether uh, it will drag and drop it will do drag and drop or not so you can see it dropped to the desired location and at last closed the browser so let me just show you again because, because it was very quick so you can see the message as well like dropped yeah you can see okay so this is how uh, we can automate uh, drag and drop functionality so we have another method right we have seen another method that is drag and drop by okay so we'll use that method so let's use that one so i'll comment this one and uh, act dot drag and drop by so here we have to give source so we have to give from and these are the pixels uh, at target location so how to get that so if you inspect this at top you can see this pixel location right 123 let me just show you again once again yeah here you can see the top p133 into 22 okay so that is the pixel pixel location of the target element so 133 and 22 dot perform one second what happened sorry this is from and dot perform okay so this is another method drag and drop so what it says one second a convenience method that performs click and hold at the location of source element moves by a given offset then release the mouse okay so it will drag drag this element and drop it here based on the location okay the target location given uh, using pixel size okay so let me just rerun this program Here yes, you can see it dragged to the target location successfully, right? You can see drop, uh, dropped message. You can close this. <coughs> I'm sorry. Now, what is the next one? So, we'll perform series of actions now. Uh, let's come in this one as well. Now, act dot first will click and hold. Okay. So we can use this element, uh, this method, click and hold, and then what is the next method? We'll go to move to element. Uh, yeah, we have another method called move to element. So what is the target uh, target location? Two, right? What is the next? We have. Let me just yeah this. This is the sequence of actions, right? What is the next? Move to element and then we have to release it, right? Next, since it is a series of actions, so we have to build, we have to compile all the actions and then at last we have to perform the operations. Okay. So what I have done, first we'll click and hold this element, click and hold and then move to this target location okay and then release it right uh, build and uh, move to element and then release it and then build and perform okay so let's see whether uh, it will work or not
yeah you can see it dragged to the target location and uh, successfully we got that message dropped sounds good so this is how we can work with uh, drag and drop there are different ways like we have seen three ways one is drag and drop method and the second one is uh, drag and drop by using the target location okay using the pixel location pixel size and the third one is different methods like click and hold move to element release okay these three uh, methods we have used okay and we have uh, build all the actions and then last perform the action okay now let's uh, verify whether uh, uh, verify this message okay so simply uh, inspect this so inside div we have that message dropped yeah okay so let's uh, write like driver dot find element by dot x path and simply copy paste this one okay store in a variable web element web element and let's say dropped message drop message semicolon and here we'll verify let's put if condition if drop message is uh, displayed okay then simply system dot out dot print ln uh, let's say success message okay and let's print that message as well drop message dot git text okay let's write else part as well uh, let's say failed message okay so simply what we have done we have just uh, captured that message and uh, we'll see whether we'll get the success message or not and we'll we should get the dropped message as well so here i should write like uh, uh, message is it should give dropped okay let's run this program again it's drag there drag and drop and yeah it's done I guess so here we got success message and message is dropped okay so this is how you can work with uh, drag and drop and next time we'll uh, see how to handle tooltip and uh, multi select actions and all okay so thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Please subscribe this channel. Thank you.